Welcome back students. We're going to continue our exploration of calculating pH and pOH for various sample problems. But this time what I want to do is I want to give you a concentration. We're going to find the pH and then we're going to use that information to find the pOH. Okay? Get based on the lessons that we've already done before, this is what we've got. So let me put a sample problem here and then we'll go forward. Okay, so we've got this problem here and what we need to do is kind of just begin identifying what we know. We know that we have a hydrogen ion concentration of 0 0.003 and we need to first use this information to find our pOH because generally the map is going to be the following. If you have the pH, you can use this to find the pOH because we know that if we add the pOH together with the pH, this is going to be equal to 14. Okay. Now using this information, we can then go from pH to the concentration of hydroxide ions because we know that the hydroxide ion or the hydrogen ion concentration is going to be the 10 to the negative pH. And we can use that value then to get our concentration of hydroxide ion because we know that both of these must be equal to 1 times 10 to the negative 14. Okay? And essentially if I do this a little bit better and rewrite these equations for the concentrations, we know that the concentration of the hydroxide ion is going to be the following. We know that it's going to be 1 times 10 to the negative x. And in this particular case, negative pOH is what it'll be. So let's just go ahead and fix that now. Okay, so the negative pOH. And the hydrogen concentration is going to be written slightly different here as well. And we know that it's going to be equal to 1 times, let me do that better here, 10 to the negative pH and that's the concentration for the hydrogen ion. So let me just put this a little bit lower down here just so that we know what we're talking about. Okay, And so here are the pathways that you can generally get to these answers. And so if we know one, we can definitely find one. So in this particular pro problem here, what we want to do is kind of see what path do we go. What we know is we're going to start here. We know the concentration of this particular solution, and what they want us to do is find the pOH. So the easiest thing for us to actually do is to take the following path. We want to take the path to go to the, POA, the pH first, then from there find the pOH. Because we know that if we find the pH and I subtract that number from 14, it should give me the pOH. So let's go ahead and do that now. If we have a concentration of 0.003, okay, so the hydrogen ion concentration is equal to 0.003, what I can do here is the following. So let me just do this. I can definitely take this number and then plug it into the equation that we already know. That equation is that the pH is equal to the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration. If I plug that into the calculator, what I wind up finding here is that my, my pH is actually equal to the following. My pH here is equal to 2.52. And we kind of expected that simply because this value here is actually greater than 1. So we're going to get a smaller number than what we thought it was going to be. Okay, But now that we've got the pH, we've essentially made it to the point over here that I'm going to mark by a big X. Actually, I'm going to circle the point here. We're at this point now. We're at the pH. Now, since I know that if I take the pH and add it to my pOH, that'll give me 14. What I can do at this point is I can take this number here and I can subtract it from 14. So 14 minus the 2.52 will give me my pOH. Right? And so let's go ahead and do that now. So we'll subtract 14 from it, and that means that my pOH is going to be equal to 11.5. And this here is the answer to this question. 